Ellen Macaulay of Pray It Up. So what do we do to increase our peace of mind? It's interesting. They talk about holding a glass of water. So the guy's holding a glass of water, and people say it weighs 8 to 24 ounces. Okay. See, but the weight doesn't matter. If you hold it for a minute, it's not a problem. If you hold it for an hour, your arm starts to ache. If you hold it for a day, you might have to call an ambulance. It's the same weight. The weight has not changed. But the longer you hold it, the heavier it becomes. I was stunned by that statement because I'm one of those people that have hung on to a lot of stuff. And it gets heavier, and it weighs more, and it, ties, and it weighs us down. So if we want to have less stress and more peace, the first thing we need to do is just say, okay, I'm not going to carry that anymore. You know, I had to help plan this luncheon, but then I also um, had a committee. And there was tasks. I mean, one task was to put all the certificates. There's 14 winners, and we had to put all the certificates in these blue little cases. So I said to this one, oh, do you mind putting them in the blue cases? She was like, no, that's no problem. So she comes back, she goes, that was really hard. Now I know why you gave it to me. And I'm like, I'm not stupid. I'm yeah, trying to get those little corners and those things. I knew it would be hard. So you need to delegate, and you need to do your most daunting task first. So sometimes I do something, I go, why was I worried about that? It's done, it's over. Do you ever put something off, put something off, and then you do it, and you go, that wasn't so bad. Just do it. Do the most daunting task. And let go of things you don't come to roll. I'm already worried. We have a big Memorial Day ceremony for the county on May 29th at the cemetery. And I looked at the weather uh, last night, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's AM thunderstorms? What? And I'm like, Ellen, there's nothing you can do about the AM. I mean, what can you do? Don't worry about what others are thinking. This is huge here because I've spent a great deal of my life worried about what others are thinking. I've gotten brand new glasses that were revolutionary different than other ones I've had. No one ever mentioned, no one, new glasses? no one knows. I had a friend who had uh, breast reduction surgery and she went from a 44 double D to a C. Not one person said, anything going on there? I'm talking, for close friends. I'm not talking strangers, because how would they know? But people don't, they're not thinking about you. People are too busy thinking about themselves. <laughs> so let's not be worried about that. List three things you love about your situation right now. I started this group in January of 2008. I have been working my butt off. I'm exhausted, but I was happy to be here because I love this group. And I love each and every one of you. That's number two. And here's the third one. I'm alive. I love that. I love it. Walk to a window, look outside, and take a single deep breath and say, yes, yes, I'm alive. And then there's 40 ways. I love these ways. There's just tons of ways here. And then it takes, take 100 deep breaths. Sometimes I forget to take one deep breath, and they want 100 here. Also, I love the law of diffusion. Something's bothering me. I tell my husband it is cut in half. I tell my sister it's cut in a third. I tell my, I tell my mother it's a quarter. You hold things in, and it will weigh, more, weigh you down more. Creativity. There's people who uh, had to leave a little early tonight because they're in the garden club, and I said to him, them, is that nice? Is that good? Doesn't that sound great? A club about gardening? I would love that if I, you know, when I retire. Also, some of you writing the letter to food was the most creative you've been in eons, <laughs> right? You're like, oh, I got to create something. I'm going to write a letter to food. It's fun. Activity. Yes. We got to move, you guys. Move, move, move. And acceptance. Everyone has my permission to say it is what it is one time a day. Because otherwise you might want to say it like a hundred times a day. Also, connect with other people. We connect with you Thursday night 
And that's why I got mad during the pandemic, because my connection was gone to my family, to work. I was working there to pray it off, to church. Also volunteer. I work full time. I almost consider this a teeny bit of volunteering because I'm doing this. It's just so important to do other things. Also about your meditation and mindfulness, create a space. That's not my problem. I have plenty of space. It's just telling myself to meditate. Slow down. Oh, this is when you take your, this is eating your food. I, we had such a good dinner the other night. I had to say, Bob, we got to slow down. Because if you ever do that, go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also taste it and save it, savor it, and sometimes pause between, you know, bites, because it is hard sometimes to slow down and enjoy your meal. Now, in a restaurant, you might, you know, take a little slower, so pretend you're eating in a restaurant. So, my last statement I want to say is, it's so easy to be, it doesn't mean you don't care. If you find inner peace, it doesn't mean that you don't care about the suffering and sadness in the world. It means you know how the story ends. And the story ends because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The story ends with all of us doing his work for eternity. And that's where the peace comes in. And that's what we sometimes lose sight of and let's prayerfully listen to the song and ask for the inner peace and only God. Yeah.